Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I am going to show you what are data sets and how to create a workbook. Now see, in our last video, we just had an introduction of suit analytics. Now, what is data set? The data set is an instance of data that we need to do the analysis. And what is workbook? In workbook, we can combine data sets, tables, pivots, and charts using a single tool. Now, let's see in NetSuite how it works. First of all, I, you have to click on analytics. Now, I'm going to create a simple example data set. I will click here new data set. And then I will search here like sales order. We are going to create a data set for sales orders information, right? Now see here, you can see here two columns. In one column sales order, all information is uh, given here, subsidiary transaction. Suppose if you click here, you will get each and every information of location. Another is sales rep you can get each and every information of sales rep and whatever information you want to see in the data set for example you have to just drag it here for example if i want to add set a criteria on date within let's take here first of december till today apply See here, it will change 18 rows are there. So if you want to set a criteria on any particular field, you have to drag it here. And if you want to show it here, in that case, for example, if I want to suppose I have removed this column and I have removed this memo quantity also. Quantity is okay. And then transaction type, right? Okay. Now, suppose if I want to add a date, where is it? Yes, I will add just here. So I will drag here. So date will be shown here. So you will see here today, uh, right now, total rows are 18. So in this way, data, you just uh, need to know exactly what things exist where, right? And based on that, you have to uh, drag and drop wherever you want. Now see here, I have to save it first. Dataset underscore two, right? Uh, yes, dataset underscore two, and then we have to save it. Right, I have saved here the data set. Now I'm going to create a workbook on this. Create new workbook. Now here, there are three options. One is the table, one is the pivot table, and another is the chart. If you want to show it in the form of data table, it will uh, be used like, for example, let's take an example of pivot, right? Pivot. Now here, there are three parameters, rows, columns, and measures. Rows, if you want to add a customer in rows, okay. Then transaction type in the column. And then item in the drop field, in the measures. See here. Suppose if you want to add the quantity also, or we can say date. No, not date. We can add here the quantity. Item count is there and the quantity. Let's wait here, item amount. Yes, we can add here the amount. So now here you can create a pivot. Now, similarly, based on this, if you want to create, show this same as in the format of chart. Similarly, there are three parameters. One is the x-axis series and measures. Now, what is this series? If you want to explore more about charts, I recommend you to watch my video on fusion charts because this concept is taken from there only. 
fusion charts how to uh, display the data in the form of different different charts so i have created videos on that also so i recommend you to watch those videos similarly suppose in x axis we want to add the customers another is measures like items we will add here the items item count and then series series like uh, quantity so in this way the data is displayed like item here item count is shown now if you you can add here the item name also or the amount also so look at this if i want to add measure so in this way you can uh, add here whatever you want as per your requirements so in our next video I, I in this video i have just shown you how to create a data set and how to create a workbook now in next video i will show you some real uh, real time examples of uh, uh, corporate world uh, that how what type of requirement is demanded when we implement net suite and in uh, uh, net suite suit analytics what we are going to do when the re such requirements comes for analytics right so for this uh, till then i recommend you to work on this workbook and data sets and if you face any problem then uh, write down in the notes section i will try to resolve your queries and in our next video we will see some real life example of business so thanks for watching my video subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos thank you